Hello, I'm Patrick with Lone Wolf Software, and this is a quick tutorial to introduce the main interface and demonstrate some of the features and benefits of Automotive Wolf. Automotive Wolf is a powerful and flexible car care software product that will help you manage and stay up to date on all your car maintenance and help you to avoid costly repairs. Simply following its advice and service reminders will keep your car in top running condition. It uses a relational database engine that allows the database to grow as needed, so its capacity is virtually unlimited. You can create and track car maintenance on as many vehicles as you like. It's also network compatible, so you can share the database on a network. It's designed for the average family car owner or any car enthusiast. Now, what you see on your screen right now is the main interface of Automotive Wolf. And what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new vehicle in the database. And I'm going to show you how to configure some of the maintenance requirements. It's very easy to do and very, very simple thing to do. So first thing we're going to do is create a new vehicle. We're going to do that by cl clicking on this create button here in the top in the upper pane. And we see a vehicle information screen where we enter some information on the vehicle. Some items are required before we can create the vehicle. First thing we'll do is click on the make button. Make will open up a drop down menu. Shows every make of the car ever manufactured. We're going to create a Mustang GT Coupe today. So we'll scroll down and we'll find the Ford option. We'll select that. That will automatically load all the models that Ford has made since uh, 1940. So we're going to create that uh, Mustang GT Coupe. So we'll scroll down the items here and we'll find the GT Coupe. Select that. And this is going to be a 2009 model year, so we'll select 2009. Selected that. And next thing we have to do is we have to enter some distance estimates that Automotive Wolf needs to do some uh, calculations. So the first thing we have to enter is the current odometer. Now, any of these red labels that you see here on your screen, if you click on them, it'll open up a number pad. And the number pad makes it very easy to enter number values. So we'll click on the uh, red label. And this vehicle, we're going to say, has 10,000 miles on it. So we'll just click on 10,000. Click OK. See, that's been entered here. Miles per year driven. We're going to say this vehicle is driven approximately 20,000 miles per year. And that's about average for most vehicles. Approximate miles per gallon. We'll say this vehicle gets about 20 miles per gallon. Now again, all these all these values can be edited later, so we're just entering some quick estimates for this vehicle. And the approximate fuel cost per gallon is approximately 265 in this area right now. We'll enter that. One other item is uh, required by Auto Automotive Wolf to create the vehicle, and that's the insurance information. Click on the insurance tab. We see the cost per year here in red. Click on that. We're going to say it's about $1,000 per year to insure this vehicle. If you pay monthly, quarterly, you can just multiply it out and enter it. That's entered. And uh, of course, you get a lot of other information here can be entered. If you click on the Purchase tab, you can enter the purchasing information for the car, the price, etc. And the Loan tab, of course, you can enter uh, any, any information as far as the loan that you took out in the vehicle. And Automotive Wolf uses this information in a very detailed cost analysis. It's very informative. But in this case, we're going to keep it very simple and uh, quick. And we're just going to enter the basic information. So I think we have everything entered that we need to create the vehicle, so we'll go ahead and click on OK. And the next thing we're presented with here is a maintenance requirement screen for this 2009 Ford Mustang GT Coupe that we just created. And you can select from four different maintenance schedules for this vehicle, basic, low maintenance setting, medium, typical maintenance setting. You see when I click them, more items are enabled here. Uh, full high maintenance setting, which, which enables all the maintenance requirements, and a minimum I will do it myself option. Well, you can add as many requirements here. It's very easy to do. You can just cl click on the Create New Requirement and add them as you like. So in this case, we're just going to keep it simple. And we're going to select Basic Low Maintenance Setting. Uh, again, you can right-click on any of these requirements that are enabled through this basic setting. And uh, you can push them back. You can push oil changes back or whatever. Pick any item and you can modify it. Again, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to accept what the, the, the default parameters are here. We're going to click on the OK on Finished button to configure this vehicle and create the database. So we click on that, and we see that the vehicle has been created in the database. We have a Ford Mustang GT Coupe up here. And we see a screen that says the status gauge is in the poor range, and see below for details. The, what this means just basically is that this vehicle status gauge here on the left side of your screen, we see it's in the poor range. And it's there because we created a vehicle with 10,000 miles on it, and we didn't enter any, any information as far as previous oil changes, etc. So Automotive Wolf, of course, thinks this vehicle has way overdue for an oil change. So it's going to have the vehicle status gauge in this poor range. And in fact, below it, we see three digital gauges that show the status of the three filters in the car, air, fuel, and oil. And the oil filter has a red marker, which tells us that the oil filter needs to be changed. And that's why this gauge is in, this, in the poor range. And I'm going to show you how to set this back 
so you can take this oil change parameter set it back we're gonna say the uh, oil change was done at 9,000 miles on this vehicle and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to set it back and that'll reset this gauge and it'll more more accurate accurately reflect the current status of this vehicle so we're gonna go ahead and click on the what's due tab here in the, in the main interface and we see the requirements that are currently due for the vehicle and these are all the requirements right now due right now and what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna click and find the oil change oil filter maintenance requirement simply right click on it and select the edit selected requirement option this opens up a modify requirement screen where we're gonna go ahead and push this this requirement back we're gonna say that this vehicle has 10,000 miles on it and we're gonna say that the oil is changed at 9,000 miles now normally you change oil in a car approximately every 3,000 miles If it was changed at 9 we want to set it back to 12,000 miles easy to do here we this per, per, particular uh, requirement uh, you can have it due by uh, the odometer or also due by uh, a date. Some some uh, manufacturers want you to change your oil, for instance, every three months. In this case, we're going to just have it use the distance parameter. So we'll just click on distance. You see the date options have disappeared. Okay, we're going to set this back to 12,000 miles to more accurately reflect the status of this vehicle. So you just click on the miles label there and enter 12,000. Very simple to do. And the rescheduling option here is already set to 3,000 miles, and that sounds pretty good. We're going to leave it that way. Now, we have two other options here we're going to select. The one is a display or reminder alarm. When this requirement is due, it just shows you a little message on your screen that tells you the requirement's due, that it's time to change the oil. We're also, you can also set it to, so that it automatically emails you. So we're going to select this option. And we're also going to select the option to, to display a gauge for this requirement, which will display a new gauge over on the right side of the screen. Uh, we're ready to go. We've set it back to 12,000 miles. We have it reset. We're going to have it reset automatically every 3,000 miles. We'll click on the OK button, and when I do that, you're going to you should see this vehicle status gauge here on the left side of the screen reset into the OK range since it's in the poor range because of this way overdue oil change. So let's click on the OK button, and in fact, you do see that the oil change requirement has reset into the OK range. Um, so, and you, you also see that it's disappeared here from this what's due list. What's what's due now? It's been reset to the future, and in, and in fact, if you click on the pending button, you'll see the oil change oil filter here has been reset to 12,000 miles. These are the requirements that are going to be due in the near future. If you click on the show all button, all the requirements currently enabled for the vehicle are displayed. Let's click back on the do now button, and uh, we see what's what's currently do now. Now, you can easily modify these requirements. Automotive Wolf makes it very easy to modify and and configure the vehicle according to your manufacturer's recommended schedule. And we recommend that you do go through your manual and just add a few things here and modify a few things so that it so that it's a, it's configured exactly as your manufacturer requires as far as the maintenance items. Very easy to do and it usually just takes a few minutes. You can just right click on any of these requirements and edit them or you can create a new requirement. I'm going to show you how to do that now. If you just simply create an click on the create new requirement button let's create a timing belt change uh, requirement for this Mustang so we're gonna make it just distance or, or parameter required and we'll enter the uh, description timing belt change and we're gonna say that this timing belt according to the manufacturer needs to be changed every 50,000 miles so we'll just go ahead and enter 50,000 now this will set this requirement to be due at 50,000 miles and the rescheduling option we're going to also set to 50,000 miles it just means that when this requirement is satisfied and you do change the timing belt it will automatically be rescheduled 50,000 miles into the future we're also going to display a reminder and we're going to display a gauge we'll go ahead and click OK we see a new gauge has been uh, created on the right side of the screen here a timing belt change it's in the green because this timing belt change is due at 50,000 miles and of course we're currently at 10,000 miles so that's we're set on that and we see that this belt this timing belt change doesn't show up in the what's due list because it's not due now if you want to see it just click on the pending list and you'll see it displayed in blue as all user defined requirements are displayed let's click back on the do now button and basically you've now configured this vehicle and it's ready to go uh, if you want to satisfy a requirement you simply double click on it enter some information about the requirement you're satisfying if you take it to the shop click OK and you'll see it disappears if you go to the maintenance tab you'll see that it was automatically added for you and again you can edit any of these things this is a be a very detailed maintenance list and a, it'll it'll save every single every single piece of maintenance requirement that you've ever added and also you have a repair you have a lot of other options here we'll go through in other tutorials let's click back on the what's to do list 
and we see w the other items here you can also modify them as as desired uh, that's pretty much you're ready to go at this point your new vehicles created you see it only takes a few minutes and uh, automotive wolf's ready to track your vehicle for you uh, that ends this tutorial i thank you for watching look for other tutorials in the near future on other aspects of this very very powerful software thank you for listening